Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to downgrade your iPhone 4S, iPad 2, and the new iPad from iOS 5.1.1 to 5.1 or iOS 5.0.1. Now, to do this, you'll have to have your SHSH blobs backed up for those firmwares that you want to downgrade to. Now, all the downloads that you'll need will be in the description down below. Now, all the downloads that you need will be in the description down below. And to download the firmware, what you're going to do is go into the browser of your choice. And then you're going to go to where it says iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, and Apple TV. Now, it has all the files that you'll need to downgrade. So, it has the iPhone 4S files for 5.1.1. And it has all the firmware files that you'll need. Now, once you have downloaded the respective firmwares for your device, you're going to go into Red Snow. Then you're going to go into Extras, and then Even More, and then you're going to click on Restore. Now the first thing that you're going to do is simply click on IPSW to be restored. Now you'll have to download two firmware files. The first firmware file that you're going to download is going to be iOS 5.1.1, which is the firmware that you have to be on in order for this to work. And then the next firmware file that you're going to download is going to be the firmware that you're going to downgrade to. So the first thing that you're going to click on is the firmware that you're going to downgrade to. And then it's going to say additional IPSW required. And then you're going to go and select the 5.1.1 firmware file. And then it's going to say a baseband update. You're going to update your baseband and you won't be able to unlock. Then you're just going to go ahead and click yes. And what you're going to do is make sure your device is connected. So you're going to go ahead and connect your device. And it will now be entering recovery. Now the next step is to click on remote. And it's going to be fetching the blobs from server. And it's going to be fetching the current baseband files. And it's just going to go ahead and do its thing. At this point, your iPhone or iPad should be in recovery mode. And you should see that it says waiting for device and it will be on the Apple boot logo screen and it should have a progress bar as well. And now it should say working. Now it should say restoring to the firmware that you are downgrading to. And once you have done that, your iDevice should be downgraded and be on uh, the firmware that you want to downgrade to. So thank you for watching this video on how to downgrade your iDevice. Please be sure to subscribe, like this video. Please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash applecritics. Now reply me for any jailbreak related questions and I'll be sure to answer them. And also, feel free to iMessage me at applecriticsyt at me.com and I'll be able to provide jailbreak help if needed. And also, feel free to like my Facebook fan page. There will be a link in the description down below. And also, drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching.